What's up, guys? What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? It's Tyler Harris here. Tyler Harris here. Tyler Harris here. Coming at you from the Starbucks drive through Anybody know what time it is? For those of you that are new, you've never even seen this. And those of you that have been here a while, I know you've just been waiting with anticipation. It is... Make Money Monday. Hump day, how you doing? Fired up Friday time. That's right. And time for a little tip from the whip. A tip from the whip. That's right. Tip from the whip. From the whip, from the whip, from the whip. Tip from the whip. Hey, tip from the whip in the car wash. What is going on right now? All right, so I hope you enjoyed those ridiculous videos. Uh, and in the theme of, what was it, hump day, how you doing, make money Monday, tips from the whips, no better fitting intro to this video today, which is a throwback Thursday. Good job. Yeah. You're pressing your button. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the daily bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it, or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry, cause it's time for the daily bread. So last night we were in my hotel room and we were going through some of the old videos that I had on my computer. And I've mentioned these videos before, but I've never put them out there. And I, I mentioned how I've got hundreds of videos, just like the ones that you just saw, but other ones that are way more deep and more serious, uh, where it was just me in my car, sitting in the windshield, um, recording just whatever was going on that day shooting out my goals like I do uh, now, using it as an accountability tool, but wasn't putting it out in a public setting. Well, this video that we stumbled upon, honestly, I forgot that I had even made this video. Uh, this was the first video that I ever recorded. It was three years ago, and man, I honestly started getting emotional as I watched it last night. I watched it twice last night, and I was just like, holy cow, like everything that I talked about is what I'm doing now, but I talk about the why, like the real why as to what in the world am I doing putting myself out there. And, uh, and it gets pretty deep. I tell a little bit about my story that you guys have not heard yet before uh, or go a little bit deeper than you've ever heard before about some of my struggles that I've had in my past. And then this journey that I was currently on uh, and I'm still on and I'm bringing you along with me. So I guys, I hope you enjoy this video. It means a whole lot to me. I am incredibly grateful for even having that footage no clue why I decided to record it, but man, it's so important to be able to have it now. What's up, everybody? My name is Tyler Harris, and I've got a story that I think is worth sharing. Um, Actually, just just walked out of the gym, sitting in my car, and was on the treadmill, and was felt so convicted, almost to the point of tears. It was very strange, but felt God just pushing me to start documenting my my story uh, and my journey. And that's one of the few times uh, I've ever felt that. Um, so, huh, getting emotional right now. So clearly and directly. So I'm gonna do that. And I don't know what this is gonna look like, um, or what it's gonna sound like, but I'm gonna start documenting um, just some videos. I'm gonna try to do it every day, that's not gonna happen, I uh, know, but I'm gonna try to do as many as I can, as often as I can, um, and just talk about what's going on in my life. Uh, there's a lot going on in my life, and there's a lot of ideas that I have that float around um, and come and go, and and I need a place to, to put these ideas and these thoughts and these 
um, little nuggets and life lessons and struggles and um, insecurities and celebrations and, and just everything just put it on somewhere so I can have something uh, to look back at um, a year from now two years from now ten years from now twenty years from now and and kind of watch this evolution that I feel like I'm uh, that I'm going through um, I'll just tell you really quick my story um, or kind of what's led up to I think this moment of, of really putting this uh, putting this on video um, I'm 30 years old, which is kind of uh, one of those landmark uh, uh, milestone ages where you kind of look back at your life and and see where you've been and where you've come from, where you're where you're going, and you think about all those goals and and ideas and pictures of where you uh, thought you'd be, and then looking at the reality of where you are and, and, and where you're going and and so there's been a lot of a lot of reflection um, but to give you just as quick a story as I possibly can because I don't want to drag this on um, graduated from college uh, got married immediately um, started working as a financial advisor and was doing incredible um, made almost a hundred grand like right at a hundred grand my very first year out of college thought I was invincible I thought I was uh, too cool for school if you will had a huge head was arrogant drinking too much uh, being an idiot um, not being a good husband um, not being a terrible husband but not being a great one um, over the course of about two years uh, I lost my job uh, in a situation that was completely out of my control um, and, and hit me hard um, I was exceeding leaps and bounds uh, expectations on my job, doing incredible. But because of uh, a long story of uh, something that was out of my control, I was I was terminated uh, in a very abrupt, um, difficult, difficult way. And um, a year later, after that, received a phone call uh, from a gentleman uh, that, that wanted to let me know that he had been sleeping with my wife for the last. Uh, seven months uh, which ultimately led over the course of the next year uh, divorce um, at a very young age um, and for um, for a man to go through a, a kind of a, an affair leading to a divorce it's a very very strange um, deal that uh, happens to you um, psychologically and in confidence and uh, that on, on top of um, being terminated from my job kind of put me in a downward spiral um, not a downward spiral in the traditional sense of you think of you know video documentaries or, or people's biographies and stories where it's like alcohol and drugs and like nonsense like that but more of a downward spiral in my own um, confidence and motivation and um, fear of success being taken away uh, again um, so fast forwarding uh, met an incredible uh, woman um, got married been married for a little over a year now and I think one of the things that is also um, kind of culminating to me making these videos uh, as we're starting to try to have a, a child um, kind of starting that process which I've been really excited about we just um, it's you know funny when you say you know, we're starting to we're trying which is awkward well, we're having sex uh, yeah it's always weird but just you know really started uh, trying or or <laughs> or stopped not trying uh, Saturday and and so I think that's really uh, hitting me as far as not only who am I and where am I going as the man for me and as the husband to my wife but um, as a father potential father to a child uh, that is um, very intimidating to me at, the, at this moment um, and I have a lot that I need to do over this period of time until that 
that happens, um, <laughs> that could be nine months from now, could be uh, four years from now. You know, you never, you never know um, how that process plays out. But over the last year, uh, I went from let's call it two years ago being on unemployment, um, struggling to find anything I could really be passionate about and work hard at and just being flat lazy and just lost every ounce of hustle that I had in my body. Um, you know, the only income I had was some random 1099s, which were minuscule and, and some unemployment income, um, totaling probably, you know, 20, 30 grand. And then last year, um, you know, probably 40, 50 grand, uh, just some 1099 stuff and some things that I'd done. Um, entered into a career where now I travel uh, four nights a week to another state I'm away from my home. I'm a very, I'm a very, my wife would say needy, but I'm a very, I thrive on people. I, I'm a big people person and I'm not very independent, but I've been forced into a very independent situation where I'm on the road all by myself. Uh, for four nights a week typically um, on the road in my car that's why you'll see most of these videos are going to come from my car because I spent a lot of time here um, but over the past um, well if you just take year to date I started last uh, October um, but if you think of last year making you know 40 50 grand and I've made um, over hundred and sixty thousand dollars in my first seven months this year um, so my life has really transformed monetarily and career uh, career wise and it's something that I'm very 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 happy about I'm very blessed to find so I prayed I prayed constantly uh, to God um, to grant me a, an opportunity where I could work hard um, and get passionate again and and be rewarded for that and, and something that I could get um, get excited about and motivated to wake up every morning and I, and I have found that um, but with that comes uh, certain struggles which is you know, being on the road four nights a week away from my wife and my wife's a very very independent person and she handles it very well or at least she puts up the uh, uh, the appearance of being able to handle it very well which I, I believe to to a large extent um, but it, it weighs on you. It's difficult uh, to be away. You know, I get home on, I leave usually Sunday night or, or around 4 a.m. Monday mornings, and I'm back uh, Thursday night uh, or Friday typically, and then back. Um, I've been doing that nonstop. I haven't had a week off from doing that except for a vacation, you know, once or maybe once or twice uh, for the last 10 straight months or 11, I guess it's my 11th month. Um, so, I mean, that's just a, uh, a brief. <laughs> snapshot of of a lot of stuff um going on in my life and so i'm just going to start recording this they're not there may not ever be a single person that i let watch this um and it may just be me that looks back on it and, and looks at this but I, I want this video to be a golly I keep my voice keeps track I keep getting <laughs> emotional uh, I want this video to be a a tipping point a turning point a, a a line in the sand uh, where I can look back and say that's when I really got in the game that's when I really started living up to my to my true potential you know, even with my job over the last um you know 11 months i mean i have i'm gonna be honest with you um and i don't say this to impress but uh maybe just to impress upon you the the amount of work i've been putting into this thing but i've been uh, just crushing it i mean i've, I've written over 2,000 life insurance policies so far year to date and it's, it's just now august um it's an insane amount of work and an insane amount of volume that i've been doing um, but at the end of each week, I, I still feel like I'm, I'm not even, I'm not putting in a hundred percent of what, uh, what I have available or what I'm capable of. Um, health wise, I've gotten fat recently. Now, that sucks. Um, and you know, no, I, I'm my biggest critic. I'm not fat as in like obese, but compared to where I've been even, you know, six, seven months ago, 
Um, so yeah, I just left the gym. So hopefully uh, we'll get back on track with that. Uh, but keeping accountable with that, I want to I want to use these videos. Um, every little thing that's going on with me, um, I want to document it, and I want to have a place where I can look back and and um, and see where I've been, um, see the progression um, over the days and weeks and months and years, and. Um, and I'm ultimately and ultimately see what it what it turns into um, I just I really feel like like I, I need to like I need to do that and, and maybe it'll help some people uh, that are in similar situations or can relate um, maybe not if I never show it to anybody but that's uh, only time will tell uh, for that kind of what this moves into but I watch a lot of podcasts I see a lot of videos I've always been intrigued by that medium um, and I've always thought of myself as not very good in that um, in that environment as far as just sitting there on camera um, I want to be I want to become more eloquent a better speaker and uh, yeah the only way you can get better at doing that is by doing it so this will also help with that but just little ideas here and there um, I'm gonna throw those out there and just kind of talk to myself, to be honest with you. Just talk to myself and figure this thing out and become the man that I need to be, become the man that I want to be. And I think this guy next to me just hit my side of my car, which is awesome. I literally think his door just hit mine. <sighs> That's interesting. Um, I might have to get out of the car here and have a conversation, but guys with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off on this video. This has been just blabbering on and on, but, um, but here's to, uh, here's to starting a process and, and figuring this thing out. And, uh, and that's what I'm going to do because I feel like I need to do it. So uh, with that, I'll go ahead and sign off. Friend.